Hey, how is everyone? Have you been having a good week so far? Today is Thursday, and um, the weekend is almost here. You know, I always look forward to the weekend because that's when we're down at Ophelia's and we really get to meet people in the neighborhood and really hear their stories and learn from them and uh, provide um, them our, our products. And so here I am. It is... Um, in the evening, and I'm at my local SunFresh supermarket, and we're at the uh, Blue Parkway, the shops of Blue Parkway. I love this store because my first experience with this particular SunFresh was many years ago when I moved to Kansas City, and um, I came to Kansas City to produce Tom Joyner on the radio, and what an awesome run we had. Um, he was on over 200 stations and, and, and just was a, a radio legend icon. We did some really great things with that particular show. But I remember we had uh, a live remote broadcast here at this very location when it, when it had just opened in Montel uh, Williams, not the singer, <laughs> Montel Williams, not Montel Jordan. Uh, Montel Williams came out and uh, he had an incredible talk show at the time and a former Marine, just an all-around great guy. And he was touring the country and he was um, he was talking about uh, getting healthy, staying healthy. You know, as African Americans, we have a lot of health issues and um, a lot of it pertains to a lot of the food that we eat and a lot of the food um, uh, that we uh, may not be able to afford certain items and so it's a lesser product. So. Um, Many years ago, when I started Ophelia's Blue Vine Farm, our goal was really to get out in the community and serve the community and serve people in the community. And, um, and so it was a great joy to be able to be in this supermarket with our product line, Ophelia's product, and it's behind me, uh, if you can see, right there. So. That's the raw right here, and I want to talk a little bit about um, fresh herbs. But before I get to that, I really want to talk to the fact about how usually when you're in supermarkets like this in the city, um, and it pretty much goes from uh, any urban environment, there's always a lesser product. But we didn't want to do that at Ophelia's. Um, regardless of who you are, where you come from, how much money, you, whatever you make, we're going to give you the same excellent product um, because you deserve it, you know, and we're going to do it at a price that's right and affordable for you. So um, I'm going to go and I'm going to flip the camera around so I can show you some of our product and I could talk a little bit about it as well and um, why Grandma Ophelia would really be happy today if she were to come in here and she would just see Ophelia's displayed and uh, the product. But first, so this is, so we're at the shop's a Blue Parkway, okay. And right now, I want to show you. Look at our price per ounce. So this is what this is in the store, and it's 4.19 per ounce. And let's look at our competitor, and they're at they're at what is that? 5.16 per ounce. So right away, we've already we've already um, you know given a, a, a phenomenal value, okay, which is what really Ophelia's is all about. Now that's that's Grandma Ophelia, and um, that was um, from one of her classic photos that I had turned into the design right there. And um, I'm going to flip this over and show you something that we do. Now look at the back of this particular label right here, and it's going to show you, it's going to have a lot code on it, and it's going to have a date code on it. And so look at this date right here. This date is the second, okay? Second. So that's when this particular product should have been pulled, okay? But let's look at this particular product. And this is how excellent our product is. You can smell it through the package. We have a special insert right in there. As you can see, there's too much moisture in this particular, um, in, the, in this package. It wasn't packed like that, but it got hot at some time in the in the in the in the process. Somewhere in this in the store could be the uh, the cold air, warm air of this particular cooler, and I don't know what these are, are are set at. But as you can see, this product, you know, now this is just a suggested date on here, okay? And what this date is, this is 14 days. This is 14 days 
this date is 14 days when we delivered this product, okay? And look at that, you know? But I'm not gonna stop there because this could, let's just say this is a fluke. Let's go to another one, okay? Let's go to another one, okay? All right. And look at that, okay? And it's amazing. <clears throat> so this is what, when we talk about how how product outweighs talent. Now let's go over to one of our competitors, you know, and let's look at those. Let's look at that, okay? So here we already have a higher price point and look at those needles. Look at those, you see how, you see no insert, no date, no lock code, you know. Let's look at another one, okay? And let's look at some more product. And let's come over and look at Tamethius, our Sage. You know, it's holding exceptionally well to have needed to be pulled um, on a second, you know. And so this is what this is what we mean when we talk about uh, black excellence and a product that truly speaks for itself. And you come into the supermarket and supporting Ophelia's Blue Vine Farm supports the community and it also supports Casey Gift and what they're doing. And, um, you know, and I think many black owned companies, you know, just want uh, to be treated fairly in the in the in this particular industry in the food industry you know and this is definitely an example of where product outweighs talent now let's go look at uh Timetheus, and Timetheus is our herb bundle that has many different things in it and i'm going to flip it around again show you the date okay so that's when that should have been pulled okay and uh, this is the oregano. So the oregano got a little cold. That's kind of to be expected. No one has a, a, a shelf life that long, you know. But let me flip it around. But again, I just wanted to show you, you know, what uh, a great locally produced product looks like. And so now, you know, to look for when you're in the supermarket, you know, and you want to know if something's fresh, you know, we didn't have to put those dates on the pack of the sticker, but we wanted, and actually uh, stores order less and we lose money, but we didn't want to hurt the brand. We didn't want you getting upset or Ophelia's, you know, we're always trying to give you the best possible product that we can. And here's an example of that, you know, and I would say, leave a comment in the, uh, in the comments below, if you've ever tried Ophelia's if, and um, and you let us know um, how you felt about it, what um, what you made, did you um, use any recipes? Let me know. Leave a comment in the comment line. And next time you're out at any supermarket, I want you to um, just look around and just look at the product, okay? And um, and and a critical eye and look for those things. Look for moisture in the clamshell look to see if it has a, a lot code that if uh, something were to happen it could be recalled look at it if it has a date on it that when it was packed these are all important things and if someone doesn't have that you should go to your manager at the store that you're at and um, not that you have to suggest Ophelia's but you should have to just bring it to their attention so again Mike at Ophelia's Blue Vine Farm I'm at the Sunfresh at Blue Parkway, and it's it's a beautiful store, and uh, we're just proud to be in this store. And I just really wanted to stop today, and I wanted to show you our product so you can see for yourself what Ophelia is all about, 100%, and uh, it speaks for itself. One more time, let's look at that fresh rosemary that was 14 days old as of the second, and let's look at it again, and we're gonna look at that beautiful picture of Grandma Ophelia and those labels courtesy of uh, Missouri Grown and their program. And again, we're going to look at our dates. Yeah. And that's amazing. That speaks for itself. And again, we'll look at the competition. Oh. <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see what you don't want. So you don't want that moisture in there. You don't want that... Um, you want, don't want the black needles. So again, those are some things that you need to look for next time you're in the superstore, supermarket shopping for fresh herbs. Mike at the Foods Blue Vine Farm. I hope you enjoyed this video live from Sunfresh. It's a great store. Come on out, shop.
biophilias that you can. And uh, talk to you later. See you in the next video.